Hey Disney, where's my money? Onward is the latest film to come out of Pixar. Uh, the film follows two brothers who live in a fantasy world where unicorns, centaurs, elves, satyrs, mermaids, pixies, they, they all exist. Like, basically take your typical fantasy setting and then fast forward it by about 1,000-ish years. You know, a typical medieval fantasy. Fast forward that about a thousand years to modern times, and you've got the setting for this movie. This movie is awesome. I love it. I might be a little bit biased, as I love Dungeons and Dragons, as should be evidenced by the uh, Mighty Nine t-shirt from Critical Role, as well as the uh, D20 tattooed on my arm. This movie legitimately feels like a Dungeons and Dragons one-shot to me, and I love that. It was, it was so much fun. It's a very adorable film. So like I said, this movie follows two brothers. One of them is like basically me, but animated. Also according to my coworkers, he looks like me. I will let you guys be the judge of that. I kind of see it a little bit, not a ton, but you're gonna, you guys are gonna have to show me. But he is basically me in animated form. Like, I'm not kidding. That It was hilarious to me to watch this and like see how close he was to who I am. <coughs> It was rather amusing. But uh, yeah, Barley, the older brother, massive nerd, just loves like the history and magics of this world. And then you have the younger brother, Ian, who's a little bit more timid, a little bit more on the, I'm afraid to like, I don't want to get hurt, so I'm like gonna avoid doing risky things side of life. On Ian's 16th birthday, their mom gives them a present from their dad, who, uh, their dad died either right after Ian was born or right before. He gives them a staff with a resurrection spell they try the spell botch it and now they have to go on a quest to try and spend this one final day with their dad it's a really really heartfelt movie really really touching and it kind of hit me close to home about seven or eight months ago uh, my grandmother died and so kind of the plot of bringing the dad back to spend like one last day with him uh, that personally hit me very very close to home it might not hit others as hard as it did me but it hit me pretty well but that's not why i love the movie it's just one aspect that i thought was really really cool this movie just the world is a lot of fun and this is your basic buddy travel movie with two brothers and i loved it this movie was a lot of fun especially because like keep in mind these characters are teenagers I'm not specifically sure how old Barley is, but Ian is 16, and so the entire time it keeps cutting back to their mom who's like freaking out because she doesn't know what's happened to her kids and like just that that was a really fun bit for me. But overall, I love this movie. It's extremely heartfelt. It's a very, very touching message about brotherhood and family. The movie was a lot of fun, and especially for me who was a nerd who's a massive nerd, I love Dungeons and Dragons. This felt like a D&D one-shot, basically. Like, just its own self-contained story with a single quest. It felt awesome. I loved this. There are also quite a few references in d, &D like, from D&D specifically. Like, uh, the way that magic works in this, slightly different than how it does in D&D, but um, similar. Like, if you botch the spell, there could be a backfire consequence. I think my personal favorite, though, is the Manticore. Um, throughout the movie, there is this callback, call out to a monster called the Gelatinous Cube. This is one of the most terrifying monsters in Dungeons and Dragons, because it will just absorb you, and then start eating you, and, like, you have to break out, but, like, physical attacks don't hurt it, and it's, like, it's one of the hardest things to beat. Not because it is, like, powerful, just because it will kill you if you just stay in it, but I, I love that, like, little, like, call out to it, and then it actually appears, it was awesome overall i think this movie is extremely heartfelt with the message of family and togetherness and just overall um like those you grew up with it's extremely heartwarming i loved this and with all that in mind for me this movie rolls a 17. it's not the greatest movie i've ever seen but it's extremely heartfelt and i loved pretty much every minute of it. If you haven't seen Onward, I highly recommend that you go do. It's well worth the time, well worth the money to watch this movie. And I honestly hope that it becomes a classic because it's just really that good in my opinion. 
That's all I have for now, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and comment. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below. If you like my content and would like to keep up with me, please subscribe. That is the best way to do so. That's all I have for now, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and as always, peace out.